speaking with my husband about a recent settlement being highlighted in the news, someone said they knew they'd never win. I thought there's something much more broad and all reaching than how this term applies to legal proceedings. Why do we settle? A car that won't last? A dead end job? A relationship that's okay but doesn't set your world on fire? We settle for bad books and movies. We settle for the frozen dinner when we'd really prefer fresh food. We settle for all sorts of things, large and small. Have you ever thought about why? For some things, we're simply tired. We settle because we don't have the energy to do much differently. As long as this is an occasional happening, there's nothing wrong with it. I'll eat the cheap wax-filled chocolate rather than hold out for the good stuff on many afternoons. For other things, do you feel like you're just not good enough to deserve more or that you can't win? Life is full of potential. If you settle too often, you are giving yourself a life with limitations. You're restricting your own potential by letting your fears and self-doubt get in the way. You deserve more, but how to get there? Learn to acknowledge things you find difficult without piling on the self-criticism. Just because it doesn't come easy for you doesn't mean that you should settle for less than what you want out of life. Adapt a mindset for growth. Don't try to do everything at once. Pick one small thing to refrain from settling for. Why is what you want important to you? Do you need it immediately to make your life worth living? How can you achieve your goal to get where and what you want? If it's a better car or any car at all, can you ride the bus or walk to save some money? If decent insurance is too high, can you find out why this is in your particular case, then find ways to get decent insurance at a lower rate? You may have to have patience enough to wait for a ticket to fall off your record. You may need to wait until you're 25 when the rates go down. You may find a car that will work for you, but you aren't sure about how long it might last. It's worth checking with a certified mechanic. It will save you money in the long run and you haven't settled for something that might last a year if you're lucky. If it's a job of your dreams, first figure out everything that form of employment entails. There's always more going on in a vocation than one sees on the surface. Do you need to take a class or two to get the skills you need? Can you intern? Can you chat with someone who has worked in the profession you dream of and hear all sides of what it takes to be successful? I think a huge part of settling is not having the energy to do anything different. Whether it's your fear sucking you dry, your day-to-day -day exhaustion, or you simply can't get around to it, don't let go of your dreams. We have a friend who's writing a novel. The first chapter took five years. We know people who can only afford, whether time or money or both, to take one class per term. We know people who have lost their vehicle, yet because of this, have found much better jobs within walking distance of home. Keep your eyes open. Be aware of what you want out of life. Recognize the difference between a stepping stone and settling for something that will never change. Dream. Dream big. Write your dreams down. Draw a picture of them. Visualize them when you pray or meditate. Believe in yourself, in your life, in what you have to contribute to society. When you're ready, do something about it. I'll be here rooting for you. My name is the Reverend Kathy Crosby, and there you have it, short and sweet.